today I am here with uh, Ray Wong, and uh, Ray has been a long-term supporter of uh, Pledge uh, Pledge Finance, and also a very close friend with our dear CEO Tony Chen. Uh, so why don't you quickly give us a round of introduction, Ray? Sure, thank you. Uh, I'm Ray, and I'm Hong Kong based. Um, I've, I've been investing in the blockchain space and very passionate about it. As I started becoming, uh, I started as a miner, and and then I started investing in multiple projects, uh, both in DeFi and also NFT space as well. And um, I previously worked in financial institutions for a long time, uh, Manual Life Asset Management, Morgan Stanley, and Credit Suisse. And Credit Suisse, particularly and specifically, I was working on structured financing. So I think it ties very well with uh, the vision of Pledge. And, and I'm looking forward to, to be uh, helping Flash to grow as well. That's awesome. Uh, thank you for the very, uh, very brief introduction of yourself. Obviously, it seems like you have a lot of expertise in the traditional finance uh, realm of things. And uh, I do believe um, there are a lot of juicy conversation we wanted to have with regards to, you know, how you get into uh, DeFi space, first of all, and secondly, how did you discover or come across of the project Pledge? And ultimately, what made you uh, decided to invest in Pledge? Um, I do see DeFi as a very promising space. Um, a lot of things I can see operationally can be optimized by, by coding, uh, by codes as well. Of course, there are also challenges regarding on the, on the regulatory side of things, but I think that could be resolved with, with a lot of the partnerships and also the developments, uh, latest developments. Um, one thing I'm very passionate about is to is the collaboration or, or, or the intersection of NFT and also DeFi. So in the space particularly, there, there are real world or real asset products that can be collateralized uh, in the NFT format, which which got digital certifications, etc., and then can be used as collateral for for kind of the DeFi projects to to for, for lending as well, which could be a very good streamlined process, and and I'm very excited about it. So to talk a little bit about how I came across the project, Platch and also Tony, um, I actually met Tony as a friend a friend uh, quite a while ago, and um, I'm very um, I really like him as a person, and, and I knew that when he was trying to do a project, I, I was like, okay, like Tony, uh, bring me on board as well. So I, I really, so I joined the project very early on, and um, I just keep talking with Tony about it, um, how, how to shape the, the project as well. And I'm glad that we, we are able to bring on a lot of the partners from both academic institutions, uh, renowned academic institutions, and also um, People from traditional financial industries as well, from from, from both banking backgrounds and also investment management background. So I think that will definitely help uh, on on Pledge to grow, both in the digital as, digital asset space and also working with the traditional uh, side of the markets. Absolutely. So at this point, I'm I'm very sure that you're aware that um you know Pledge is utilizing financial NFTs. Uh, uh, using using obviously blockchain, right? Uh, so I guess uh, what I'm trying to ask is, kind of uh, uh, innovation do you see in this particular method of building a a bond market versus uh, traditional? Do you see like maybe more liquidity being built, more securitized, yes. you know? And yes. um, overall, it's just kind of maybe talk a little yes. bit about that, right? Yes. Yes. Um... So I, so I think before Pledge, I, I never really heard of the term financial NFTs. So I think Pledge is really pioneering uh, this direction, um, like combining NFTs and also finance going forward. Um, I, I, I do think that, um, especially on, on the transparency part and also liquidity part, um, they, they do help a lot because I think especially traditional bond market we look at, the sentiment is in, in terms of days. When we talk about using the blockchain, we can accelerate a lot of those collateralized lending and also, for example, the margin calls, etc. A lot of the processes can be streamlined with the blockchain for sure. So I, I see a lot of, uh, when we get more 
uh, I think NFTs, when the market is more developed on the NFT side, a lot of the things can be collateralized, can be created like a loans and bond format. And I think that's a very, very exciting space. 